When you create a new website, it is a good idea to set up your site's default text font, size, and color before you start adding text to your pages. To do this, go to the Format Default Styles menu option and set the body text font, font size, and text color as you want. Click on Save when finished. When you add any new text to your site, it will use these new defaults. To add text to your website's pages, simply click on the text box button in the toolbar. A text box will appear in the editor window containing the default text, Enter Text. There are many ways you can select and edit text in a text box. Click once to select the text box. Then quickly three times in the text box at the point where you want to edit the text. The vertical cursor will appear at the point where you have clicked in the text box. You can now add, edit or delete text as you want. To move the cursor within the text box, use the arrow keys on your keyboard or use the mouse to click in another part of the text box. You can highlight text from the cursor position itself by holding down the shift key, then using the arrow keys on your keyboard to highlight the text that you want. Alternatively, use the mouse to highlight the text that you want. Press the mouse button down and cursor over the text that you want to highlight. You can highlight a single word by placing the mouse over the word, then double clicking. Use triple click to highlight the whole paragraph. If you double click inside the text box when it is not currently selected, all of the text inside will be highlighted. If you start typing, any text that is highlighted will be replaced by the new text you are entering. If you have overwritten your text by mistake, just use Command plus Z to undo the action. An alternative way to replace the entire contents of the text box is by selecting the text box itself then typing in your text. Selected text can be styled in the following ways. If you want to change the font of the text, click on the Fonts button in the toolbar, or use the Command plus T shortcut key. Select the font and style that you want to use from the Fonts panel. To change the font size, use the slider, the scrolling list, or type in the font size in the input box. You can change the color of the text in a number of ways. You can click on the text color icon in the fonts panel, which will bring up the color picker. Or you can click on the colors button in the toolbar to bring up the color picker. Alternatively, click on the text inspector tab in the inspector window. Clicking on the color swatch will display a grid of predefined colors to choose from whilst clicking on the color wheel will display the color picker. If you want your text to have a color background, select the text you want, check the background fill option, then use either the color swatch or color wheel to set the background color. If you want to change the background color of the text box itself, go to the shape options tab. In the fill section, choose the option for the color background that you want. Use the Text Inspector to align text to the left, center, or to the right inside the text box. Text can also be aligned to the top, middle, or bottom of the text box. You can add spacing between text characters by using the Character Spacing option. Characters can be spaced closer to each other or more widely spaced apart. You can set the height of each line by using the Line Height option. You can also adjust the line spacing before and after the text paragraph. For example, if you want to have a large gap between two paragraphs, you can either click After the Paragraph and then increase the After Paragraph value, or you can click Before the Paragraph and then increase the Before Paragraph value. The Insert Margin option is a great way of easily adding vertical and horizontal padding at the same time to your text. 
This is a very useful option for the placement of text within a text box.